Hey guys, Target here and today I'm gonna show you how to build a massive highway interchange from scratch in real time. This is going to be a similar but not exactly the same replica of the highway interchange that we have built in my Let's Play series. Which after fully decorated looks like this. I'm also going to share the before map on the Steam Workshop so that you can build along if you want to. And I'm also going to upload the map with the interchange already built so that you can download it and study the design if you want to. This is going to be a slow paced video with very little cutting and editing, which is very different from the type of videos that I usually post. So without further ado, let's start. Okay guys, so what we will have will be a four-way highway interchange that will connect um, this highway over here, which is the main highway of the city to the northern part of the city, so we're going to have a big highway curve here. Then we are going to have a third highway, or a third direction, that is going to uh, be at around this location, that will cross on this avenue, and will eventually lead traffic to the other side of the river, over here, as you were able to see in my Let's Play series. So it's basically going to be a three-way interchange, but it's going to have a lot of modifications because it's also going to connect to the main city, for example this um, uh, little avenue that we have here, this avenue as well, and also this avenue next to the public transport hub. I'm going to try to replicate the design that we have built in my Let's Play series as best as I can, but there may be some differences. But anyway, let's start off. The first thing that we're going to do is actually delete this entire junction because this entire thing is going to be uh, replaced and redesigned. Okay, and now we can start building the highway itself. So the first thing that I want to do is actually make the segment of the highway that will go parallel to the layout and will eventually connect to this highway. And then this highway is going to curve and is going to go perpendicular and is going to connect to the north side. So that's exactly the first thing that we should do. I am going to grab my three-way uh, highway. And I'm actually going to um, zoom in a little bit and I'm going to make a connection at around uh, this location. This seems good enough. And I'm going to make sure the elevation step is at the minimum and I'm going to go three steps up because it is a minimum distance that uh, you can make overpasses in this game. And now I'm going to make a line all the way over... I don't know, how about all the way over here? And then I'm going to make another one, or another segment. I'm going to leave a one block space in between, just to give it a little room to work with. And I'm going to connect it all the way over here. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to make the northern segment. I want to make a highway that is going to be parallel to this segment as well, so I think this is going to be it. I think this is a good distance, bring it all the way over here. And now I'm going to make the other side, and I'm going to um, fix the orientation. And now I just need to connect both segments. So for that I'm just going to grab the curvy road tool. And I'm going to uh, make it snap to this existing point by using the guides. And I can notice already that the curve is too big on the right side, so I actually want to make it a bit shorter, perhaps at about over here. That seems about right. And now I'm going to make the same at this side as well. And there we go. And now I just have to connect them. Like so. Perfect. Now I'm going to make the third segment of highway, or the third direction that will lead the citizens to the other side of the river. And I think I want these things to intersect at about um, this place over here. So what I'm going to do is go another th three steps up. So I'm going to click another one, two, three. If you're on the ground floor, for example, here, and you have it set uh, at the ground floor, you just have to press it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we can make a little bridge. Okay, perfect. And now we want to do the same on the other side. There we go. I'm not sure if this is the exact location of the overpass, because I'm going to build a lot of stuff in the middle here, and I need a lot of space for it. 
but we can always rebuild it if it doesn't work. I'm just going to extend these segments all the way over here for the time being. Like so, perfect. And now I want to make our first exchange road. Uh, I'm going to draw a segment or build a segment that leads people from this part of the highway to this road over here. And for that I'm going to incur in a loop. I'm going to draw a off ramp over here that is going to go and make a loop and will eventually connect with the highway here. So let's start. I am going to grab a normal road because it behaves different than a highway road when uh, making connections. I personally like to use these roads but you can use whatever you want, whatever works best with you. I'm trying to grab a snap point over here, I think this is um, what we can work with and I think I'm gonna make a segment all the way here. I'm also going to build or delete this segment so that we can make a um, off ramp right about here or a small connection like this there we go perfect in fact I, I think i want to do this junction a bit uh, far away because we are going to need to draw a road underneath uh, this highway to connect to to this um to the underneath road so i'm actually going to delete this i'm going to try to make the um under road already but it seems that we cannot do it because we have some pillars in the middle so what I'm gonna do is just make a connection here and that will delete the pillars that were on the left and now if everything goes correctly I should be able to make a under road like this perfect and I'm going to bring this road up so I can connect it already okay just to simulate what I want to do I also want to connect this thing already we can delete this segment and now we just need to connect these segments to make a proper um, off-ramp. I know that I will have to lower this road at about 3 steps because we know that this highway is 3 steps above this uh, regular highway. Considering that we have the elevation step on the minimum. So we know that when building this segment we'll have to go down or click the page down button about 3 times. So that's something that we need to keep in mind. So we can actually start doing that already right off the bat, so I'm going to grab this segment, I'm going to make a parallel road and I'm going down by about one step, right about over here, perfect. Now I can start making a curve and I think I want to make it as round as possible. So I'm going to disable the road guidelines. I have this on a shortcut but uh, you just have to press this little button here. So for me is Alt E and I think I'm going to make a segment at about this um, length and again I'm going to press the page down button to go one step lower and now I'm going to finalize the loop and I'm going to press page down once again to go to the final height level. Okay and now if we check it we can see that this road is at the exact same elevation or the exact same altitude of this road over here. So it should connect pretty pretty uh, smoothly with this segment that we have built here. And as you can see this the slope, uh, the downward slope is actually also very smooth which is great. But yeah now we just need to connect them, let's try a couple of things. I'm going to enable the road guidelines again and I want to try and make the road as parallel as possible to this road. And I think we're going to have to need a couple of tries. Perhaps we can go one segment at a time. Now let's try connect everything with the curve row tool. And there we go, I think that should work. Perhaps we can make it even more parallel, so I'm going to delete it again and retry. We know that this highway starts curving at about over here, because that's where we have our connect points. So if I actually connect both of these segments, which I cannot do because it's on the bridge, but if I delete this segment here and I try to bring it to uh, the exact same uh, axis of the connection point and perfectly align the nodes as you see here, maybe I can make a smooth enough curve. Let's check it out. Let's see if I can make the guy to pop up. Not really, we're just gonna have to highball it. Let's try it like this, and I think this is much better than what we had before. 
which is perfect. Now we just uh, need to convert these highways or these roads into proper highways. I'm going to use a one-way uh, highway road for now and we can change it if we need. And it seems that we're having uh, some issues trying to convert this one. If you have this, you simply need to delete uh, one of the segments, ideally the bridge, of course, and try uh, make sure it's on the right orientation. You don't want to mess it around later. And now I just have to connect it. Perhaps it will help if we make a segment here. Delete this thing, and I already messed up, but that's okay, because I can simply bring the segment all the way over here, fix the orientation, now we just need to make sure these are the exact same um, length. And we can do so by making a few guides. Now we just need to convert this, delete this segment, and rebuild this little segment as well. There we go. Now just fix the orientation and we, for, we have our first um, on ramp, on and off ramp. Now for the second connection, I want to do the exact opposite that we had just made. So I want to make a road that will connect this highway over here to this highway. So that people who are coming from this side can hop into this highway and eventually go to this side of uh, the map. So for that we are going to make our first um, off ramp over here. Make sure it's on the same elevation step. This seems uh, at about right. We are going to make a segment all the way over here and I think we can connect it here. There we go. Now we have encountered our first problem. I want to make a loop uh, around over here so that this highway can come and eventually lead and make a big loop and connect over here to this highway while also having an off point at around this part of the map and it seems that this highway is in the way and these highways are eventually going to intersect one another without touching so one of them is going to um, essentially need to overlap the other and I want this one, the one that we have just built, to be on top and that's because we are going to have another connection um, this segment here is not only going to connect to this uh, highway junction but also to a point in the map over here and also finally to a point in the map over here as well so this will essentially need to go underneath this entire uh, structure that we have built. So unfortunately I will have to start uh, deleting the segment that we have just built, which is a shame. We are going to extend the road all the way until um, the edge of the nodes, so they're all perfectly aligned. Now I'm going to m try to make a parallel segment and I'm, start, I'm going to start going down by pressing page down right about here okay in fact i think we can do that much early on so let's go at about the end point of the notes where the curve starts and let's go by page down over here and here we can go actually by the second um, elevation step and now we can go and finish it up over here Okay, that seems about right. We'll fix the slope later on. But now I want to make a curve um, at about here. Okay. And this will eventually connect to the uh, city. Perhaps we can even make that connection right now. So let's make a curve and connect it to this side. Let's convert it to a one-way highway, so that you guys can see the direction. Make sure everything is following the right orientation, pretty good. Now we can start making the loop. Oh, but before that, let me fix the orientation step. This is actually pretty easy to solve. Just delete both of the segments and connect them again. And now the slope is much um, smoother. Now we just need to make the loop. So I know that I will want to make a curve at about over here, then to make a, a linear road that will go and wrap around uh, this junction, then eventually make another loop, a secondary loop, and it will eventually connect here, and then it will have also 
a off-road at about this area that will connect to this area as well. So let's try and make that. Let's make a road all the way over here. I think that's going to be fine. Let's try to make um, a circle as best as we uh, possibly can. So perhaps here. Let's delete this segment here. And now we are going to activate the road guidelines and we are going to try to make a little circle. Okay. Let's connect it and let's see how it looks. I think that's actually pretty good. Let's convert it to a one-way road. Now that we're at it, perhaps we can reconnect this road. So let's see with this. And let's try to replicate the loop all over again. I need to disable the road guidelines for this. Okay, that seems about right. I want to make a parallel road at about here. So let's actually enable the road guidelines for this. Make a segment here. Now let's try to connect it. Let's actually use the curve road tool. Okay, seems about right. And I wonder if you can connect it directly. It seems that this bridge is giving us uh, quite a trouble, so let's try this again. Okay. And it also seems that we have a good um, transition, a good slope. Let's try and connect it back, see if this gives us any trouble. Let's fix the orientation of this road so we don't have to mess with it again in the future. And now let's try to make a bridge here. Okay. Let's try and uh, fix the orientation. And finally connect everything. Okay, perfect. Let's continue. Now we have the exact same situation that we have on this um, off ramp, which is this road here is going to need to be elevated at about three steps to connect with this highway. So we need to think about that. And I think I'm going to bring it all the way over here and go by one step up. Okay, so I know that this road is going to split into two. Uh, the first segment is bringing traffic from this part of the city. And the second um, junction is going to bring traffic from this segment that we are currently working on. So what I want to do is try to find the center of this and try to split it equally. So let's make a little road here. Let's make a parallel road. And now we know that this is the perfect middle because it's the one that is perfectly aligned with this node. So if we go by uh, two blocks up, one, two, and make a segment here. And now we may go another two blocks down, one, two, over here. We have two segments of road that are perfectly equidistant from another and are at the same distance from this segment. But now that I look at it, I think this gap is too big, so let's try and do this again. Let's go simply by one. And by one here as well. And I cannot build because it's too close to one another, but that's okay. We can use the guidelines to make a road here. And make another road there. Perfect. Now we should just try to connect both of these segments. And I don't know, perhaps we can delete them at about here. Perhaps we should even come a little closer. Let's try to make a connection here and another there. And I think this looks pretty good. I think this is even better than what we had in our uh, Let's Play series. Now we know that one of these segments, uh, this one to be more precise, is going to lead traffic into this location, so let's also uh, make a little guide here to make sure we know uh, and don't forget our positioning. And make a little curve, as smooth as possible. Connect it. 
and now let's simply connect uh, these two segments. Now to connect these two segments we know that we'll have to go down by about three steps, considering the minimum height level. Uh, for the sake of symmetry I think I want to curve it, uh, at the same time this road starts to bend, so let's connect it all the way over there, let's make sure the pillars are aligned. I also want to make sure that um, this curve, this road starts to bend at the exact same location, so let's make a perpendicular road and try to make a guideline. So I think now these are perfectly aligned. Now we just need to find a way to connect both of these segments. And just for the sake of experimentation, let's try and connect both of these over here. Let's grab the middle point and extend it all the way. Uh, let's see, let's try, to, uh, let's try to make it equidistant to make a perfect half circle. So from here to here is at a cost of 160, so that should be here, yeah, there we go. But we actually need to go up by one block. Okay, now let's just uh, try to connect this. Okay, I think that's cool. And I like it, I think it looks cool. So let's convert it to a one-way highway. There we go. And this thing is already converted. Now I know that I will want to make a connection and eventually split this road and bring it at about over here. So let's actually make another road here. And I think I will actually want to come um, a bit lower than this, perhaps one, two, three. Let's make a road all the way over here. Fix the orientation. I usually just use these roads, the normal ones, to build the uh, layout because they are easier to connect or they behave different than normal highways when making connections. But sometimes I forget. I'm gonna try to use only these ones from now on. So let's make a road here. Now we just need to connect this segment to this little segment. If I connect it directly to this road, will it mess up the curve? Uh, no, not really. But the slope is kind of messed up and I get a feeling that cars will have to slow down when going right and that's not something that I really want, so let's try to adjust this a bit uh, better. And this is what I meant by behaving different. If I have a normal road, I can make a perfect um, turn here without bending the road. See how the road is perfectly straight the whole time. If I grab the highway road, for example, and I try to do the same, it will actually bend and uh, change its form when trying to make a curve. So for this situation, I think this is a road that I will want to make this connection. So I think I want to grab a point at about here. So I think we are going to want to have a connection at about here. Okay, and that seems to be acceptable. The slope also seems okay. So now let's just uh, try to connect it the best way possible. At about here. Perfect. Perhaps I will want a segment of straight roads. Just to edit a bit more bulk. Okay, like this. Now I will want this little segment to go underneath this loop and eventually connect to this road. Which might be a bit challenging, but I think we can um, make it work. So this thing will actually uh, need to go down by about three steps, one, two, three. Okay, perhaps we can even connect it directly to make this slope much smoother. Okay, that works for me. And now I think we need to find a way to connect this uh, without messing up the layout. So let's actually try and um, 
make this as best as possible. Perhaps this segment wasn't necessary after all. And it seems that the height difference is not that much that will allow us to create this curve. So I think we'll actually need to go down uh, a bit further. So let me use this road. Let's try to go down by about one step. And now let's try to make that connection again. Let's use the guidelines to try and make this work as best as possible. And I think uh, that's going to be it. And I'm going to try to connect it perfectly with these nodes. Or perhaps these ones. Uh, actually, let's go a bit further to this side. Okay. And now we should just uh, try to connect this. Like this. And I think this slope is a bit too much, so I'm actually going to delete uh, a segment further back. And I'm going to connect them again. And I think this is much more acceptable. And I think we can keep it. Now I just need to convert everything into highway connections. So I know that this is going to be a highway, but perhaps we don't need a three-way highway over here. So uh, at this junction, when the three-way splits, one of the lanes can actually go to the left. And then what we have left is actually uh, two lanes. And this way we have a perfect split where uh, the, the rightmost lane goes to the right side. But, and you can see it by the arrow that indicates the um, traffic change. And the other two lanes lead into these exact lanes. So we can actually follow this pattern. And hopefully we won't have any problem at about this curve. No, we won't. Perfect. Same thing over here. Okay. And I think these roads are going to be a bit too close to each other, but that's going to be okay. Theoretically, this one could actually go back to be a three-way. So let's make it for now. Let's apply the same logic over here. So in this area, we have a diverging road or a diverging segment where we have uh, two separate uh, lanes. So it's better to have um, two different lanes, each of one directing to a different um, area of town or a, to a different highway. So with this, it's going to be uh, much better. So let's try and bring all of this all the way until here. And let's actually do the same over here. Here we have two lanes splitting into two. Okay, I think this is acceptable. And now we also need to start bringing this highway to the ground floor or to the same height as this one. So let's actually make a connection here. This can actually be a one-way road. So let's convert it and let's connect it. Okay, perfect. And I think there's no need for this to be a three-way after all. So let's con convert it back to a two-way. Okay, and now this area will eventually connect with this um, avenue here, which I don't think I'm gonna make in this video. But for the time being, let's just uh, move on. Okay, so I know that I will want to have a three-way highway coming and crossing the river. Eventually, this highway is going to split and uh, one of the roads is going to lead into this highway. We're going to have a off-ramp and the other one is going to continue and merge with this one. Since we are going to um, split the highway, perhaps we can make it a two-way we can have a three-way coming from the river and then when it splits it is actually a one-way going to the right side and connect here and it's going to continue as a two-way and will convert here so this whole thing is going to be a two-way highway so i can already predict that so let's convert all of this into that type of road uh, perhaps i should do the same here right now let's try and do this uh, okay. And of course, we are going to have a problem here. But that's fine. We have overcome it. Let's actually make this segment a bit shorter. Perhaps we don't need all of this length. Now, let's see. I will want 
a three highway coming um, at about here and eventually making a curve. Let's see if I can do this without messing anything up. We can delete this for the time being. It's only uh, causing us trouble. And I want, I want to make the segments as close as possible. Eventually this is going to continue as a bridge, but I don't want to do that right now, but it would eventually look something like this. Perhaps we could even curve it a little bit uh, to align with the terrain a bit better. But for the time being, that's not going to be relevant. I think I'm going to grab my um, two-lane highway. And make a curve here. Connect it. Okay. And the same thing at about here. Perhaps we even need to fix the orientation of this because it's not very well aligned. I really don't like how we have these things close together and then we have a huge gap in between. So we are going to remodel this little segment of the highway. But be before we do that, I want to make um, the connections first. So I think I will want to have two segments here. So one here and then another one there. Let's actually try to make them uh, the same length, just for the sake of symmetry. Okay, and now this segment is going to connect to this highway here, and this segment is going to connect to this highway here. Now I could simply continue this um, road up ahead and eventually connect here, but I think that's going to take a lot of space. So I think I'm going to actually bend it a little bit and go alongside this curve. Okay, that seems smooth enough. Now this is the same exact thing, we are needing to go uh, down by about uh, 3 steps. Because that's the distance that we're having between highways. So let's make a segment here. And let's see, can we do a curve here? Yes we can. And I think it looks uh, great. So let's uh, change the orientation, perfect and connect it at about here, okay. Let's remake this segment as well. Make sure it's symmetrical. And connect it to the same node, perfect. Now we need to connect this um, ramp to this highway. This is going to be a bit harder because we have a curve road and we also have a road underneath, so we need to pay attention to that. So what I think I'm going to do now is start by making a um, parallel road. Like this. Okay, good enough. Now I wonder if we can connect them directly. Let's try. Let's try and use the road guidelines as best as we possibly can. Uh, I think this is it and of course this is going to create us a bit of issues because we have um, an avenue here but perhaps um, I don't know first and foremost let's see if this curve is acceptable actually I think it is I think I like it actually I think I will want to go down a little bit perhaps uh, this is a much better and uh, acceptable curve so I think we're going to make it, let's try and delete the avenue and try to do this again. And I think I will want to go at about here and let's not forget to go down by three blocks, one, two, three. Now this should be perfectly aligned. Okay, it was like this, now one, two, three. Now it's the same level than this highway. And we are going to bring it all the way here. Okay. 
Now what we're gonna do is delete this segment and try and connect it directly over here and thankfully we didn't have any issue with this uh, highway here so we can just connect it to the highway okay not bad now we just need to rebuild the highway but we have a pillar in the middle and I don't like that so I'm gonna try to get rid of that pillar by making a road here and another road here let's delete this segment and reconnect the avenue now hopefully if everything goes according to plan I should be able to make a segment without the pillar in the middle there we go, perfect not bad at all let's fix the orientation and now I also as I've said this uh, highway is going to split and be a two-way now we have once again a three-way interchange splitting into a one lane and a two lane and the same thing over here now as I've mentioned I want to bring um, this highway uh, move it north uh, one block so that the spacing between these two highways is the same as these two highways like this it's a bit weird I really don't like this huge gap in between so I think we need to make and delete a few roads unfortunately so this entire segment will have to disappear uh, let's uh, keep this one here as a guideline and this segment over here will have to go as well but yeah there we go and I think this is it this is the perfect um, distance yeah it seems about right seems to be the same okay I was finally able to do the bridge let's try and change the direction perfect let's bring it all the way over here and we'll need to make this connection later on uh, we know that this highway starts to bend at about this node so let's delete this bring it all the way here and the same thing here it starts to bend at this node so let's delete this thing and let's try and connect it and hopefully the avenue is not going to give us any trouble uh, that's almost perfect but I noticed that this is not perfectly aligned okay much better okay perfect now I also think I want to bring this segment a bit to the north side so let's delete this okay so I ended up deleting this loop let's see if we can finally make this this process involves a lot of trial and error so let's make a curve here and now let's try to connect it to this thing let's actually go down a little bit is this curve acceptable? Hmm. let's go one step further okay, sure I can live with that, but in order for this to be a success, we actually need to finish up the loop. And of course, that's the problem here. This thing is trying to make a pillar underneath, and I don't like that. So let's actually try to delete this road and connect it here. And now we need to delete this lousy pillar in the middle. So let's make a segment here other segment there let's see with this thing rebuild this segment that we have destroyed and now hopefully we will be able to recreate this thing without any issue and there we go perfect well not perfect but um, acceptable let's connect this thing over here Okay, and now it can start 
going up. So let's go actually by one. Now let's connect it. And you know, I've been thinking, I don't think this should be a two lane road, even though I could easily convert these things. So I'm just gonna make it a one way. This way is a lot simpler. And I actually need to readjust the orientation here. And there you go. Okay, and now the only thing that we are missing is this connection here. First and foremost, let's see if I can uh, bring this highway here without interfering. Oh, I can. This is perfect, actually. Perfect indeed. So let's bring it all the way to, I don't know, what's that, the ground level? Uh, I think that's for down. Yeah, I think these are the same height. Now let's just try to rebuild the curve. I need to try and find the road guidelines. I cannot, so let's try to make this as close as possible. And of course we have a pillar in the way. This is never a good thing, so let's try to do something different. Let's try to go the furthest we possibly can. Actually, let's bring it all the way here. And make a little segment here, delete all of this. And use this thing as a guideline. We actually need to make it a bit shorter. Now let's just uh, try to connect it. Okay, this seems to be it. Okay. And connect it. Perfect. All right. Now, I believe the only thing that we are missing is a connection here, so let's actually expand the highway all the way here. Okay. Okay, it kind of makes a weird slope, but that's fine. Let's make a connection. Uh, here seems to be okay. Change the orientation and the same thing here. Fix everything, make sure everything is perfectly aligned. And now all the IO connections are made, but there are still some things that we are missing, and that is accesses to the main city, because uh, at this point we only have one connection here, that serves this side of the highway, and we also have uh, one connection here, that serves to bring people out of the layout, and bring them all the way to this highway, and allow them to go to the other part of the city and also brings people from this highway and also the other part of the city to this junction here that will eventually connect to this avenue. We can still add other couple of connections. I'm going to try to replicate what I've done in my Let's Play series, but this is uh, very situational and will depend on your city's layout. So what I've done in my Let's Play series was actually have a highway, or not a highway, but a avenue at the ground level here. So let's try to uh, make a parallel uh, line. So perhaps we can make it here. And then I had one um, on-ramp over here. So we can actually go up by one here. Okay, perfect. Like this, okay. Let's continue this road a bit further, let's connect it here. You know what, for the sake, I like to add a bit of girth to my highway, so I like to make a parallel segment before connecting. I personally think it looks better. And we can do the same thing here. And let's connect it here, okay. So we have an on-ramp that uh, leads people from this avenue into this highway here uh, to allow people to get out of the city. This avenue would eventually be connected to the main layout, of course, so it could be connected uh, over here, for example. And then it would, uh, this avenue could connect to this uh, avenue here. Uh, we'd have to delete some pillars, but I think you got the point. 
But you know what, perhaps I can replicate it just to show you. So we can make a pass here. I deleted this segment because it was the one that had a pillar in the middle. And you just connect it again using the same techniques that we have been using. And this thing could then connect um, to this uh, junction here, for example. I'm gonna make a very quick connection because this is not the purpose of this video. Okay, like this, for example. Now, in my Let's Play series, I also made other series of connections on this highway, uh, much closer to River. So I think we can replicate them here as well. Uh, not as exactly as I built them originally, because this whole thing is quite different than what I had. But we can try to make something similar. So we can actually make a segment here. And another segment here. I add a off-ramp on this highway, so perhaps we can replicate that. Let's add a block here. And I want to make sure that these connections are not uh, very close to each other. To avoid uh, weird merging. But I think this is going to be okay. Now make a loop here. And we can start bringing the road down. Let's actually go uh, by one block. And connect it here. Okay. And here I also add a on-ramp. So let's try to replicate it as well. I'm making a connection here. Let's make a guideline here. And try to make a road here. Okay. Okay, when making trumpet interchanges, you want to make sure that uh, when we have this intersecting point, you want to make sure that the segments of road extend uh, the exact same distance. I think this is close enough, so let's check it out. I even think this one, the one below, is a bit further than it, it could be. So let's see, perhaps uh, let's try and make a perfect quarter circle. Try to make this as even as possible. And the end point is going to align with this node. Now you should go up uh, by, I don't know, uh, I think 2 is good enough. I don't think it's too weird. Now let's proceed. Let's go by another 2 here. Okay, now let's just uh, connect it. Like this. And there we go. I think the slope here is a bit messed up, so uh, perhaps let me delete this segment. And instead of going by 2, I am going to go by 1. So, 1 here. Another one there. And a final one here. Let's delete this segment. Let's try to connect it. And we will eventually need to bring it to this height level. But I don't think that's going to be a problem. No, there we go. Perfect. And I'll just convert everything to a um, highway road. And of course, this is causing a bit of issues for whatever reason. But it's no big deal. And perhaps I want to connect this road with this road. So this is kind of a loopy road. I want to disable the road balance for this loop. And now we just need to connect these things. And can we do this without... Um, Messing everything up. Uh, maybe we can. Let's see. Let's bring the road all the way here. Let's delete these segments for the time being because they are in the way. Let's make the segment a bit longer. And there we go. And then the highway would hypothetically extend. 
and cross the river. And now just for fun let's also connect these dead hands here and also this highway to this highway here. Now in my last play series what I had was actually something like this. I had a highway coming and wrapping around. This highway block was connecting to the highway on this side. So we had something like this. And this segment here would connect on this side. Okay, let's change the orientation of this uh, road. And then this highway would actually come across this entire thing and connect to this avenue. So perhaps we can replicate it. Let's extend the highway all the way here. This is going to give us a little bit of a problem because uh, it's too low. But first and foremost, let's overpass this thing. Let's bring it all the way here. Let's delete this segment. Extend the avenue. Try and go up one block. Actually, let's go by two. Let's make a pillar here, delete this thing. And simply rebuild this thing all over again. In order to make things a bit interesting, I would have the highway coming parallel to this segment of the um, highway. And would simply connect with this segment with the curve. That's what's making sense to me right now. So something like this. Okay, cool. I would actually not have a um, avenue there. Bring it all the way here. This way we can have zoning on both sides. Make a curve here to avoid the pillar. And simply connect with this highway over there. Then of course highway needs to be rebuilt. And the same thing over here. Okay, now let's finalize this whole thing by finishing up this uh, segment. For this we will have a trumpet interchange, so let's make um, an off-ramp in the outside segment. Let's bring the um, highway at about here, another highway at about there, if possible. It's never possible for some reason, there we go. Let's, uh, as I've said, the segments need to be equidistant from the intersecting point. So I think this is it. If you want to be sure, just grab the normal road and try to connect both. And if you have a 45 degree angle, they are equidistant. In this case, we have a 50 degree angle, so they are not. So we need to do this again. We now have 45, so it means that they are equidistant. So now we simply just need to make the um, curves like I've told you how to do them. So in this case, we want to make sure that the endpoint is exactly coincident with this one. Let's go up by one block. Let's go up by another block here. And finally, let's just connect it. And there we go. Perfect. Now let's try to make the second loop and let's try to make it equidistant. You can easily tell by the gaps. And here we need to go down by one block again. And the same thing here, again, go down by one block, so they are exactly at the same height. Now here what you want to do is actually delete this segment and continue the road straight ahead. Here I also want to avoid this, uh, so I'm going to bring it up at about here and connect it here. Okay. And now simply connect it here. And of course, fix the orientation. 
Now we just need to make some on-ramps and let's go down all the way. I don't like to go to the ground level because it creates this uh, messed uh, slope. So I go one above ground, make a segment and connect it. Kind of like this. And we could do the same here. Let's go one block straight ahead and connect it a bit further ahead. And let's do the exact same thing on the other side. So something like this. We can make this connection already. Go down by one, two, one, two, three, and let's uh, actually let's go down by two. Make a little segment. And now simply connect it. And just adjust the orientation of the roads. And upgrade the road types um, to the necessary lanes. And there we go. That's pretty much it. Okay guys, before resuming the simulation, I think the majority of the highway is now built, but we are missing a on-ramp at about this location. I've only built one uh, over here. Uh, it, there's supposed to be another one at this uh, avenue as well, so let's proceed and do that right now. So again, let's make a road here. Let's go by one, two, three. There we go, and now we can simply connect it to our uh, main uh, highway. Okay guys, and that is pretty much it, so now we can just resume the simulation and see how everything will adapt to the new changes. I'm also going to temporarily uh, rebuild the metro connection that we had, and I'll meet you in a second. Alright fellas, traffic seems to be flowing very very smoothly. I even think I'm going to turn this uh, little highway into a two-way because we have traffic going in several directions when coming into this three-way intersection. So let's give them a couple more options by adding a few more lanes. We have a lot of empty highway because, well, essentially we don't have these things connected to anything. But if you have been following my Let's Play series, you will know how this thing is supposed to work. Because the connections that I've made are exactly the same. I'm not going to go into a lot of details regarding the traffic flow in the city, but I can just show you uh, the current traffic situation, which is at around 81%, which could be further improved by adding some more highway connections. Uh, for example, this uh, connection here can connect to this highway over there, and also to this um, trumpet, this double trumpet interchange that I've built. And this highway could potentially connect to this highway as well which is exactly what I'm doing in my Let's Play series. But anyway guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and I also hope that you found my tips for building this type of highway useful. If not, at least you got to listen to my lovely voice for one hour. What more could you possibly want? But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again for the next video. Have a good one and as always, have fun.